Today marks the midpoint in our annual Christian worship calendar, all of which points to Jesus. The first half of the calendar is made of several seasons of celebration starting with Advent and ending on Pentecost. The second half of the worship calendar falls under one continuous theme called Ordinary Time. Essentially, the first half of the calendar focuses on the significance of the life and ministry of Jesus and the revelation it gives us. And the second half focuses on living out the implications of what was revealed in the first half. A deep understanding of who Jesus is, his nature, his salvific acts, his manner of interaction with others, this all informs and empowers us to better participate with him in the world today. Appropriately, the first Sunday that serves as the transition between the first and second half of the liturgical calendar is given a special name, Trinity Sunday. As a recap, we begin the year celebrating the coming of Jesus with Advent and Christmas. Then we celebrate the Father's love for the world revealed in Jesus' crucifixion, death, and resurrection during the Easter season. Finally, we conclude the first half of the year by celebrating the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out on Pentecost. It's a good lead to Trinity Sunday, where we are reminded that the God we worship is not the Father or Jesus or the Holy Spirit in isolation from each other. Rather, the God we worship is the triune God who exists in the perfect communion of all three, Father, Son, and Spirit. So on this special day, we do more than celebrate a doctrine. We celebrate the beauty and mystery of the God we come to know in Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. There will be much to unpack in the second half of the Christian calendar, but for now, we can conclude the first half of the calendar with the same words Paul used to conclude his second letter to the Corinthians. Finally, brothers, Rejoice, aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This, my friends, is a good way to conclude the first half of the Christian calendar, rejoicing and aiming to live out the grace, love, and fellowship of the triune God revealed and given to us in Jesus Christ. Happy Trinity Sunday, and may the next few months of ordinary time be extraordinary. I'm Greg Williams, speaking of life. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. For GCI devotional content, subscribe to our bi-monthly newsletter, GCI Update. Visit update.gci.org to get the newest issue. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.